John Hansen back with another edition of Hansen's Hints here at FantasyPoints.com. Once again, we continue to go through all 12 draft spots, and I've got another one for you here. 12 team league, that's what we're going off of. So we're doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we're up to number 10, the 10 spot. Not a bad spot at the end of round number one. Yes, but you're going to get access to two very, very good players. So the question is, do we get a running back with one of the two picks to cut to the chase? Or at 10, do we have 10 and 14? Do we have access to two truly elite wide receivers? That would be a pretty good plan, pretty good path this year, many paths to a championship. So let's go in and try and draft the optimal team from the 10 hole. Of course, I've already done this using the fantasy point generator. I've tried a different a couple of different routes and I've come up with what I believe to be the optimal route. So without any further ado, let's go to the video of me talking over screenshot wise, the fantasy points generator. If you're listening to this in podcast form, again, as always, we'll try and keep it as painless as possible and be cognizant of not everyone watching this video. So without any further ado, though, we do go to the screenshot video of me on the Fantasy Points Generator drafting a team from the 10 hole. Okay, we are ready to draft a team from the number 10 spot using the Fantasy Points Generator software. We'll do 15 rounds per usual. It's a 12-teamer. We start one quarterback, one running back, or three, duh, two running backs, Three wide receivers, one tight end, no kickers, no defenses, two flexes, which can be a wide receiver, running back or tight end. PPR, once again, out of the 10 hole. Let's take a look and see what is the optimal route. We are nearing the end of round number one. So we will mock draft to our pick at 10 and see what we see. We do love Amon Ra St. Brown this year. That was the software's recommendation. And this is a little weird here because I don't really like Devontae Adams. So you see here I can get Barkley. I can get Brees Hall two picks later. I could go Chubb, but... I just don't want to roll with Devontae as my one this year. I'm sorry. Can't do it. So I'm going to go Amon Ra. I think that's a very fair pick right there. ADP at 13. I just got him at 10. It's a little overpaid. Not much. Not much at all. We are doing PPR here, of course. So uh, software is going to go Patty Mahomes. We're not going to do that. It's a little early. I mean, the numbers sure say it. Oh, once again. Wow. Yeah. So... That is something I didn't think about, the possibility that Devontae Adams, I didn't want to roll with him as my one, but maybe my two, right? Ugh, boy, that's a tough one. I'm not going to do it because what am I doing this year? Well, I'm doing a lot of things, but one thing is it's a very obvious point, I know, but how about we avoid bad quarterback situations in general? So I'm going to pass up Devontae here and get in the running back business here. I've been doing this a little bit around the end of round one in round two, going with Saquon Barkley. So a balanced start. We mock to our next position here and software going to recommend TJ Hawkinson. It's a little early for him. See, that's, that's a fantasy points crunching situation and, you know, Hawkinson's the tight end three and looking solid, but, I mean, I'm not going to go Lamar here, by the way. He's available. So what I did was Najee Harris is certainly boring, but would be a good RB2. I just can't do it. I'm a pretty aggressive player, and I just cannot quit Brees Hall <clears throat> in this spot. I just got him at, what, 34 overall? I mean, this guy arguably could be a top five pick, could have been a top five, five overall pick this year had he not had the ACL. It wasn't a major ACL. It was relatively early in the season. I personally have not heard a single bad thing about it. I guess the worst thing is them kicking the tires on Dal Cook, but how much of that is a function of maybe their 
distrust perhaps in the rookie Izzy Abanacanda. We shall see. But bottom line, a talent to the level of Brees Hall at 34, I'll do it. You know, obviously he's falling here for a reason, but I'm buying that dip, even though the dip brings with it some risk. We move on and we are going a little old school here, a little balanced uh, with uh, the two running backs and that one wide receiver. So now we're up to round four, certainly looking at wide receiver here. So it's either Judy or Watson. I do have Judy with more points. Uh, when in doubt, you know, even though Judy's quarterback isn't wonderful, I do have more confidence in Russ Wilson than Jordan Love. So just making sure we did this in the draft that I already wrote up. Yes, we did. I'm cheating a little bit because, you know, I can't do it all at once. I already went through this and wrote up the article. So I'm just going through now and recording the video so you get a little visual of this and you get a chance to see the fantasy point software if you're listening or watching the video if you're listening to the podcast we are drafting from the number 10 hole and we actually open them on raw we come back with saquon barkley i then go Brees hall knowing i can get jerry judy uh shortly thereafter so a very balanced approach so far we know what's coming it's been very prevalent we have this little window right here with our next two picks to get our two more starters uh basically our 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 tight end potentially is one of them so which way do we go let's take a look okay well we're up here and it could go godwin I mean, i do like godwin we could go Hollywood Brown. Of course, I did go Hollywood Brown for the article, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go Hollywood Brown um, because if you can see, they're separated by one point. Godwin's got some pretty good vibes right here, but you know, Fantasy Points Data saw some things about him last year under Byron Leftwich with Brady, a, a little too many manufactured touches, let's say, that may not necessarily be relevant this year, and all of a sudden. Mike Evans is balling in camp. And, and by the way, Baker Mayfield has not been great. So let's go Hollywood, even though he's got a sketchy situation. I mean, at the very least, you'll get poor quarterback play perhaps, but you'll be the go-to guy. And then maybe Kyler Murray can return in like October. All right, well, we knew tight end was going to be one of them, and we already have three receivers and two backs. So we're, we are solid right here so again that's why we're looking at another high impact starter because we we've already drafted technically our starters at wide receiver and running back so we go kyle pitts right here once again pretty sure i've taken kyle pitts every single time uh, moving on here now because we passed on trev lawrence not a problem because watson here in our back pocket we're getting them one pick two picks basically over his ADP. Man, Javante Williams is tempting right here, but we know we have our guy James White, or um, James Cook, I'm sorry. Had a flashback to uh, 20, 2018 with the Patriots, James White. Okay, so we take Deshaun Watson. So now we've got kind of our starting lineup. Watson, Barkley Hall, Amon Ra, Judy, Hollywood Brown, Pitts. Pretty darn gorific. A lot, of, a lot of sexy players there for sure. Might be a little volatile, but that's how I roll. James Cook, of course, we bring him into the fold now as our RB3. Damn good RB3. Feeling good right here. Feeling pretty, pretty good as we move along here. Drafting out of, well, we draft out of the 11 hole, and we see, by the way, actually the 10 hole, we see that there's the talent drop off. So we're probably going to go boring here and it's probably going to recommend Brian Robinson. And it does. Uh, just to confirm, make sure I did that. Yes, I did, of course, because he is a good ROI guy. He really is. I know he's boring. I'm trying to embrace boring. Um, didn't get a lot of David Montgomery in this exercise, uh, unfortunately, but I'm pretty damn high on David Montgomery. Also boring. Not as cheap, though, as Brian Robinson. That's the thing. So we move on. We get a – we don't want a quarterback here in this round. But this is why it probably goes to the quarterback because there is a real drop-off at receiver, especially 
we do see Khalil Herbert here and available, and we could we could actually go Khalil Herbert, Roshan Johnson. Uh, Jacoby Myers is a guy that we've been taking a lot, though. So we'll grab him. Solid depth, uh, no doubt about it. I, mean, I, know, I know I'm worried about Devontae, and I should correspondingly be worried about Jacoby Myers, but, you know, Myers, boy, he... He's just so cheap, and he, he's going to get 100 targets this year for these Raiders. Uh, solid football player, can line up outside. Uh, so now we're doing our usual thing here. If you've been watching any of these other videos, it's kind of like uh, the same deal. Um, I get Chiggy Okonkwo. I get some dart throw type of wideouts, and we wrap it up. It's kind of kind of all about getting that... Um, that ideal starting lineup, quite frankly, because, you know, there are going to be guys on the waiver wire. It's you got to nail these picks to top 100. I, I, that's my big lesson here. We've got to get it right in the first set, you know, seven or eight rounds, and then, you know, be good at throwing darts, basically. So we, I think we went Van Jefferson, who I've been uh, kind of into lately, given the Cooper Cup injury. That's a little sign of trouble there for him. Of course, we get Chiggy. After that, as our backup tight end, tight end two behind Kyle Pitts. So once again, we've got five wide receivers and four running backs, two tight ends, one QB. Not too shabby. It's a pretty good place to be. 150 picks into the draft. And now we're going to get a recommendation of Rashid Shahid, which we uh, certainly take full advantage of because I do really like that guy's upside if Michael Thomas goes down we're in business with this guy could go down as the sleeper receiver of the year basically based on his showing last year not just a deep threat now we it's Kenny Pickett o'clock as I've been drafting Ken Pickett every single time uh, just too cheap sorry although the software oh I don't check it off for that uh, there oh Brock Purdy do we, do we change it up with Brock Purdy when we see the advanced analytics? Oh, wow. No. I think we just went Pickett, didn't we? Yes, we did. So I'll just go and take Mr. Pickett here over Purdy. I do have Pickett ranked over Purdy. Um, actually, no, I did move Purdy over him. But for our purpose, you could take your pick. I'm going to take Pickett just because um, I love Pickett and people are just sleeping on him. I mean... It's going to go well. It's going to go a lot better than people think. Let's just put it that way with Kenny Pickett and the Steelers. And we wrap it up here with another pick who's kind of emerged as a late dart throw running back, Gus Edwards, given the situation there with J.K. Dobbins kind of getting scary here. Um, actually, I, for the exercise, I took Chase Brown. So, um Take your pick there. They're separated by one pick. Chase Brown or Gus Edwards to close it out. Let's see how we made out here. Out of the 10 spot, not bad. Um, second starter rank, first total points rank, though. So where's the weakness in our starting lineup? It's probably because we didn't invest quite as heavily in receivers, clearly. So, But I still believe this was the optimal route. Certainly, you don't have to follow it to the letter, but it's pretty basic stuff. Deshaun Watson, for those picking in this spot, is a good one because it's the best ROI guy in round seven. Otherwise, you're going to have to take Trevor Lawrence in, fifth, in the fifth or sixth round. James Cook, Mr. Reliable. So once again, there it is. The draft plan in action from all 12 draft positions. We just wrapped up position number 10. Good luck this year in your drafts. Like, subscribe, give us a comment, throw us a bone. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time here on Hanson's Hints at FantasyPoints.com.